There's not only letters in this book. There's accounts. There's analysis of things. He'll have a phone call with the president of Germany and then give his analysis into a tape machine, and you get that, too. This is warts and all, by the way. George Bush letting himself out in these letters. None more so than in this one to your mother about the loss of your daughter. Let's try. Larry, I couldn't read that letter. I'll read parts of it. Uh, this is a letter to his mother after wanting to have another daughter. Their daughter, Robin, had died of leukemia in 1953 at age three. The letter was found among his mother's things after she died. And you believe you wrote this in 1958. That's a guess. A few years, yeah. We need a legitimate Christmas angel, one who doesn't have cuffs beneath the dress. You have to be a father to know this. We need someone who's afraid of frogs. We need someone to cry when I get mad, not argue. We need a little one who can kiss without leaving egg or jam or gum. We need a girl. We had one once. She'd fight and cry and play and make her way just like the rest. But there was about her a certain softness. She was patient. Her hugs were just a little less wiggly. Like them, she'd climb in to sleep with me, but somehow she'd fit. She didn't boot and flip and wake me up with pug nose and mischievous eyes, a challenging quarter inch from my sleeping face, no. She'd stand beside our bed till I felt her there, silently and comfortable. She'd put those precious fragrant locks against my chest and fall asleep. Her peace made me feel strong and so very important. My daddy had a caress. My daddy had a caress, a certain ownership which touched a slightly different spot than the high dad I loved so much but she is still with us. We need her, and yet we have her. We can't touch her, and yet we can feel her. We hope she'll stay in our house for a long, long time. Love, Pop. How are we able to write that? Better than I could read it. Uh, We're very emotional in our family, and this was a long time ago, and I've gotten over uh, being a sissy about it, but, cause, but uh, it's very personal, and uh, we heard that now we have, you know, a lot of families, Larry, when they have a loss. Yeah, loss, they go apart. And ours, I think, was closer together. And you have granddaughters. How many grandchildren? How many? We got 14. Up? 14, and we got a couple of granddaughters in there, so life's pretty good. Do you ever really Sorry get over? Sorry to be such a sissy. No, what sissy? Do you ever get over the loss? I could not fathom the loss of a baby. I could, I, a child. I can't. It's against it's every tough. law known. It is. It really hurts. But Barbara was a strong one. I Stronger than you. Oh, God. We'd go up. We were living out in West Texas, and we'd fly up to Memorial Hospital, a little great cancer center, and uh, they'd come in with these bone marrow tests, and this little child, oh, boy, she was. And I'd, I'd, I've got to go. I had to go home. And Barbara stood, hung right in there. And the kid, the kid stayed alive. But now, Larry, if that, if that uh, stayed alive for a year, and now if, if a child contracted the same kind of leukemia that Robin did, she could live the rest of her life. I'm, a, I'm the chairman coming up of the MD Anderson Cancer Center, huge and wonderful, world-famous cancer center. And they are doing the most miraculous things in cancer. Uh, Especially and, in childhood And this leukemia. baby that meant so much to us uh, would still be alive. Maybe George's of, younger sister probably bossing him around like his mother now does. Think she's watching you? Is that Robin? Probably. We'll be I back don't know. With more. That's a good question. I don't know. I hope so. We'll be back with more. I don't know either. I hope so too. Back with more of President Bush on this edition of Larry King Live right after this.